Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name's Tyrone, and you want to sit in on a bit of a post day? I don't know what almost all of this stuff is. I've forgotten. I think my wife um, ordered one or two of them. She lets me know if uh, something's come up for sale. And I'm, I'm normally in the middle of something, and I just say yes to it. It's always the... Oh, reading glasses. That's better. I always say yes to it. It's always the best option. Do you want yes? I know what these are. Um, Catalogues, but I can't remember which year. So we'll just crack each one open. And you can sit in on what happens here on mail day. Sometimes it's mail day five days a week. Who's complaining? So, the first one is a kind of known, uh, ah yes, 1991 catalogue. Now, I wasn't sure what year Matchbox stopped making catalogues, but it, it sure wasn't 1991, because we've got one here. And I wonder how not to wreck everything. That could have been the sharp knife. <laughs> surgically remove the protective covers. I think that's just a random piece of cardboard. Yes it is, just to protect the items. I always get very um, impatient and the, the risk of damage is no greater than when it's in my studio, let me tell you. People take great care of packaging some of the stuff that comes into the studio and when it gets here I I risk destroying it just to get that Christmas morning feeling. Oh, so complicated. Cut away from you. That's the best bet. It's the work safe way. Hope your day is going tremendously well. And if it isn't, I hope I can change that by some silliness. And some matchbox hobbying. Man. Feels like I should be more qualified to open these parcels. Get off. Right, what did the postie bring? Ah, 1991 and 1992. So, a quick flick through to see what they were producing in those years. This seems to be in perfect condition. Ah, oh. that solves a mystery instantly. I got that one months ago now, and there didn't seem to be a copyright on the box. That was, uh, you pushed it along and the sign on the boot um, flicked over. It said stop. So yeah, that solves that mystery, 1991. Ah. 143 scale. Did they stop calling them Super Kings? That's certainly... No, this is still Super Kings, but they just stopped calling them that. Bit of a rebrand. They're always shuffling names. Ah, oh, I thought there was a young Prince William there <laughs> for a second. Clearly not. What would he be doing in a 1991 catalogue? Oh! Hmm. Interesting. Um, getting back to what I'm forever interested in. How many of those do you have? Ah, that came out in blue. Who knew? Oh, on that one. Wow, I've got a lot of those. Wow, that's scary. Hmm. Freeze frame any of this if you're a dedicated follower of all things Matchbox. Hmm. Wow. I've got a scary amount of those. Oh. They even did mods. Oh. Graphics. Who knew? Maybe you had these as a kid. Maybe you have them now. Huh. They even encouraged scribbling all over your toys back then. 
These are obviously ones kids have already done. Oh no, oh, maybe there's stickers. Wow, graphics. Maybe that's a glue pen and I'm misreading that. Don't know. Ever wanted to design your very own personalized car? Hmm. Well, with graphic traffic, you can. Each graphic traffic pack comes with a special white, uh, special white vehicles, a set of brightly coloured waterproof pens. You do scribble all over them, as well as a set of stick-on decals. You can then design and paint your very own crazy vehicle. <laughs> as if life couldn't get any crazier. Graphic. Oh, you can even do. Looks like a stealth. Oh, yeah, look at these. Talk about uh, the Bulgarian range getting all screwy and you can never catch them all. This one's done by a kid called James by the look of it. Hmm. Sweet. I, was, uh, I did a tour of the Tucson Boneyard in Tucson, funnily enough, in the States. And we went past, um, there was all these aircraft lined up. This is going back in 2011. There's all, all these aircraft lined up, mothballed as they call them, and there was a big gap and there was a sign with stealth on it. And the dude with the microphone at the front of the bus said, uh, well, it's our undercover program for stealth. You can't see it. And everybody chortled, obviously. Hmm. So, that's 1991. Oh, I better get a rattle on. Look at all these parcels. 1992. I'll flick through these and you can freeze frame if you wish. There goes the Nissan Prairie again, but in silver. The other one was two tone, wasn't it? Hmm. Man, how long have that been around? Wow. Yeah, that might be the first time I've ever seen that in the milk delivery in a catalogue. Uh, I don't have the one with the fluoro tips. That's got to change. Hmm. Huh. I'm quite shocked as to how many of these I have. <laughs> Spoiled brat of a kid I am now at 50. Oh, I've even got that. It's a little bit embarrassing. Uh, do you need to see the rest? There's the graphic set again, but this time with a two-story bus, double-decker bus, whatever they called it that year. Prince William in the photo again, obviously. Hmm. Oh, look at that set. Got to get hold of that one. Emergency... No, hmm. Maybe that's another language. Don't know. Stand on your cars? Really? Hmm. And what about the... Oh, there's the action sets. Gee, they even had 20 packs back then. 50 pack? Are you kidding? Motor City 50 pack. Well, I should be getting on with the show, but uh, oh, I used to get lost with these things as a kid, and now I'm getting lost with these catalogues as an adult. Vaguely remember those coming out, but I wasn't collecting them. Super Kings were still there. Um, man. Man. Railways, really? Oh my lord, connectables, I va- oh look at that, I vaguely- <laughs> oh dear, I vaguely remember the TV ads for these, oh, crazy limo, connectables, you got to admire the amount of uh, sales pitches, the amount of um, switcheroos and marketing they did to, to stay afloat. Got to be imaginative to stay in business, don't you? So that was good. Shall we 
open something else very random. I have no idea what's in this one. In fact, the catalogs was the only one I've, I've recalled doing anything with. I'm not a big fan of the envelope, the parcel envelope. Oh, there's some details. I don't know what that's all about. It's uh, tracking details and uh, whatever. I don't read things. Oh, these are blue boxes. Looks like I should be playing some Christmas music, even though it's getting towards the middle of the year. What have we got? Ooh! Hey! Look at that! Oh! Don't remember ordering them. Maybe uh, the missus did. Oops. Oops. Somebody's tired. Hey, they're not even doubles. Both number 13s. Both unpunched blue boxes. Both the same casting, but one's Metro Fire Department snorkel number one. And one's just Fire Department. That's great. And they should both have 1981 because that's how they rolled back then. So that's nice. Um, quirky Garage 1999 um, has asked me a few times now, um, can you do an 80s bear hunt? And so I've sort of subconsciously sought out 80s boxes. Um, these are unpunched and I kind of want them that way because I have all of these loose but now I have all of them in mint boxes. Um, I want to see if I can get one of those white uh, wire racks like the baskets on the turnstile thing and set all of these up. Try and get a set. Try and get a, um, any given year in the 80s. What's that? I opened that already. At least I'll get good at um, opening these envelopes by the end of the show. I think this one might be from the same seller actually. Yes, I think it is, because there are the blue boxes again. You know when you buy something off eBay and um, you're happy to part with the money because it's something you haven't seen in the condition it is in or whatever, and then uh, it gets put in the post and the seller contacts you and says you know how you bought that lot are you interested in this lot too and you say yup just say yes to everything yeah see this is where you get into actually wanting to preserve boxes oh nice There's a theme with this lot as well. Gee, look at how nice these boxes are. So I've got, again, I've got those three loose already. And I have them in the little box, but that one's punched. That one I don't think I already have. I might be wrong. Arctic truck, Arctic truck, sure for articulated. There are some other languages. See, as an anglophone, I'm never going to be. Able, I'm never going to be able to pronounce that. So why bother trying? But the Peterbilts love them. Um, nice to get them in the boxes, and pretty sure I have the stock standard of this already. The excavator number twenty-two bagger. Hmm. So yeah, that's really nice. Feels like a time warp already, doesn't it? Who's next? Oh, what is this is for? This is a bag within a box, so I'll just check to see if it is written all over. Maybe it's recycled, maybe it's somebody else's address. Quickly check. All good. Sweet. Make some room, folks. I'm conscious of. Um, not slipping too much into my own little head here. 
my own tiny minds because that's what happens on mail day. Um, and I forget you're in the room with me, watching on. What have we here? Wow, that's a really interesting way to pack things. Oh, oh, Mr. Miyagi. Oh, I've never seen. Oh, maybe I have on somebody else's channel. Ooh. I've seen that on someone else's channel. What a cool way to pack. Look at that. So we've got, huh, it's a little bit bashed up, but what are you seeing by the way? See what I mean about my own little world? That one. Easy to get those two confused, isn't it? One's a Volkswagen and one's the Ford Connect, isn't it? And that's definitely a seat warmer because it's a bit bashed. That's the newish Ford Transit, but I've never seen it in the Shady Branch Tree Surgeon Licensed and Insured livery. Free estimates. But yeah, it's a bit bashed, but nice little seat warmer. And another little V-dub. Huh. We fix all makes and models. D, S, C. Little repair van. Let's go with the DHL. And another connect. I think I might have that one. So three of those and three of those. What else? Huh. MBX Science Center. Got quite a few of these, but not in that color. And speaking of which, there's another one I haven't got. It's a bit worse for wear, but that's all right. Another seat warmer, and this one, check it out. Huh, it's a nice green. And three of those. That one I wouldn't even call a seat warmer, maybe a little bit. Quite happy with that. And what else? Oh, I've got the blue one of that. County Transport Police. And is that it? No, one more. And oh, that's not a matchbox, is it? No, Tomica. Who knew? Oh, it's a cool little bus. Yeah, those wheels are a giveaway. Nice. That's it. That's a nice little box. I like it when people give a hoot about um, how the merchandise will arrive on the other end after the sale. It says a lot about the seller. I think we're going to get crowded out pretty quickly because there's a bunch more boxes to go. What are we into? Ooh, 18 minutes. Should we split this into two videos? Uh, Maybe that's the best idea, because I don't want to just zip through those two cartons. So maybe I'll just do a, a two-parter. So we can all go to lunch. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right, I'll line them up as if that was all I had to show you today. Sweet. I'm quite intrigued about these. I have no idea how many of these things there are around. It's the little uh, uh, 2007 copyrighted. Hmm. So who knows? It's the little V Dub Caddy, isn't it? Um, interestingly, that last one didn't have Caddy on it. Licensed by Volkswagen. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, great. Oh well, that's part one couple of catalogues, some 80 stuff and some seat warmers. Who knew? Um, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the very next one. Bye.